struggling with Sven Skarin to kind of get Hanser a bit ahead. He wasted TP. There's so much to watch in this early game. Indeed. On Sven Skarin, but a oh. very leading spear. Darshan gets a stun, though! He's back and forth, Hanser. He has some time to dance this one out, but it looks like it's going to be a first blood. Hanser valiantly doing as much damage before he goes down, and it's going to be Darshan to finish this one off. Skarin. A little bit of a smite. Oh, who he? Emperor's Divide, one turret shot for Bjergsen. He's got to figure out which is the right Who's one. The first? And has chosen correctly. They're going to get the lockdown. Custom blows to hit. Bjergsen gets away with two passive shots left. It's now into Aphromoo, and they quickly make a turn. CLG's forced to retreat. Transcendent Blades, that's Hanser's healing a bit. Equilibrium comes in. He tries to get more Transcendent oh. with the lockdown on Darshan, so no more damage comes through. What action? I don't think we're going to see a Smithy and Afro take that fight down bottom, but this top oh. lane fight, Hanser then stands toe to toe. This. Oh no. That TP's down too, so he's got a long walk to wherever he goes. Xmithy tries to right the wrong and puts himself in a bad spot. Now TSM get two. Plays back to back from TSM. CLG now on the chase though. Double lift gets hit. It's gonna be a stop back. Cosmic binding not really up since they just used it at the turret. Double lift puts the spell shield on. Can he be taken down? He finds the brush denial. Takes him down. Throws oh, the Q out. The kill over to Biofrost. Who he now has walked into a bad spot. Does. Another double sigil coming from Bjergsen. Three man, there are definitely killable targets as they pop out. The boomerang and distortion combo coming in. Absolutely takes down Aphromoo right away. They still have a chance to follow here. Stix8 using his blades, gonna get a little bit more room as Smithy gets caught up in the end as the caboose to the fight. They're actually gonna take this one as is. Oh. Do they really want Huhi? That's on the hunt. He throws down Emperor's Divide, but everything goes right around it. The oh. won't be fooled. We're taking the rest of the map in the next 20 minutes, and it seems like they've done so. 15 to one. Possibly losing another here. 16 to two now as they also pick up one in the retribution kill. The Nexus is the next thing to go down and that's in the eyes of Team Solo Mid. A sub 30 minute game to start off the rivalry in this best of three and TSM takedown CLG in game one. Darshan though, locking in that trundle um, is gonna be difficult to deal with. Three versus two, Darshan oh. actually gonna get left by himself. Darshan feeling that he was safe in the situation with Xmithy just on his heels, and that's not the case. Just a headbutt here, waiting for Huhi to come back slowly. Bjergsen's gonna be able to walk out of this one. That was a bit dangerous, but let's look at this play instead. Here comes the Comet. No flash this time for Hanser. Star Surge is out, it hits, but too many minions. Hanser threads himself through. Celestial Expansion closes in for the damage and who he is able to finish that one off. There, and that may be the reason they have no idea this gang oh. is coming in right now. There's the heal, everything from Styx, a double lift, forced to fight this one out now, 2v1, one last whack from Darshan. He's saying, freeze, you're under arrest, but double lift's run in for the hills, and it looks like he's gonna make it out. Maybe a turn, oh. he can easily get the kill. What is Darshan oh. doing? At that point, he's I guess fully you gotta committed. Go. You're, you're not gonna give somebody else an assist, so you yeah. gotta give yourself up. So I mean, CLG doesn't look like they can get away on this one. Bjergsen's oh. gonna have it Smithy, and he may actually go for Darshan. Doesn't really have the oh, slow man. necessary. Yes, they do. They're gonna get back onto it. Darshan goes down. They even throw it out for the homies. The defense Karen throws down. They've already gotten the first one. Oh, Afro's oh. dying! He almost didn't get to all. You have to remember as well the chain to that oh all makes him a bit squishier. One for one now as Bjergsen goes down, but there's still DPS returning for TSM, and they're able to clean up CLG kills as Fence Karen falls as well. Xmithy and Alphamu have yes. fallen with who he one last hit. Haunts are looking to get uh -huh. over the wall. That Iceborne Gauntlet giving him just enough room to keep TSM so far. A bit of their choose your own adventure, but also an autobiography. And it looks like they are going to be trying to take down Aphromoo once more. Oh. And they have turned Double. quite a fight. This is the choke point you were talking about to get that Aurelian soul in, but they can't find the priority targets. You saw the damage spread out across and so well. Smithy and probably Six they would have gone down. So very good use of the terrain, but who he under attack now? A little too sure of himself there, thinking he could act as the me wall or the separator of the team fight, and he gets separated completely. A double kill for Hans. Yeah, that small time of breathing room. Holding what they can with the front line of Aphromu and Darshan. Stick State trying to stay behind him and throw out the attacks, but TSM has played this so clean, they can almost stay here forever. Yep, they'll stay here as long as it takes to kill the Nexus, though. Oh. 
Hunter gets bopped, but it's going to be a trade in kills. That star Sean going down as well. TSM are going to stay undefeated in the North American LCS as they take down Counter Logic Gaming. Sure, Maokai does get a lot of, uh, of passive, sap right? magic. Yeah. But uh, it's still. Oh, and Froggen. here's the first step of the play. There's Level the gold two. card into the root, into the damage up, but Kibik gets spent so long roaming, he doesn't even have a health bar left. 300 HP, another ghost into the gold card, into the first blood. Nice play right there. And a great ulti coming across. A little bit of damage on a quas. Big, oh, way too far up. He did not expect there to be a Maokai. That's a silly mistake. And Big goes down on his good shell. Here's the attempt going in. Hard knocked away one, but look at the burst damage. Big is gone already, and Hard's too low to do anything about this. O2 takes him down. Two quick kills for energy, and looks like there won't be a collapse really at three. all. Yeah, looking for three. Keith gonna get slowed down by a sapling chase. No, it actually won't aggro onto him, but he's got nowhere to go. That'll be the kill picked up. So now, what can Echo Fox get for this time? And it will be Froggy pushing in the mid wave. The rest of the team unable. And, oh boy. Oh boy, indeed. Froggen right on top of Quas. Gold card lands. And this mouse guy's running out of teammates rapidly. He's gone. Now, no one on that side of the map. And that because Echo Fox is not there. With five, looking for the play, and it's just a bunch of tanks that get on a sand tour and finally explosive cast, bit more damage, but KFO has a flash away from the turret and Quas takes down Frog and finally. But this one Quas with the TB in and out big. Once again knocked up, just destroyed by Santorin and GBM. The two of them taken down and big turns into sushi. He never even tried to flash or ult away. And now, once again, the attempt at Baron Hard is around. Jeez, a pickoff by Frog. His third kill of the game. The supports just just pray for everybody. Yeah. Bear actually knocks up two of energy, and now these squish in the back line taking a lot of punishment. OQ has to jump away. Okay. The root's gonna not actually put GBM in the ground. Yeah. And now it's up to Hard to Let's try see. to find the steal. Santorin has been a great smiter all split long. He disengages and Hard's in the wrong spot now. They've got to try to make this play. Explosive cast can disengage them. Can he get him out of this one? He's just taking a whole ton of damage. Can he get him over the wall? Hard pops the ulti. Oh, it's picked up there by Santorin. Hard old slate goes down too quickly. Never even got to cast his smite. Oh, no. He wasn't At least just hit it. one frog in. He gets it down. Now the red card. But he's got ghost. Right? Oh, saw it properly. Santorin takes the kill down. Not exactly in a great spot. I would not give up the triple inhib. Here comes the play. Hard knocks in Santorin, but he's got a Guardian Angel. Plenty of tankiness for the Dragons, but it's not really enough. OQ and GV and Victor take him down. Cross the front line. A flash away from Frog and KFL now attacked and assaulted and taken out. He never even got to pop the guard, uh, the Zonia's Hourglass. OQ oh, dies in the back line, but gets sniped out. So at least one kill coming through. But they're on to the Nexus and energy cannot be stopped. I don't think they can be. The damage coming across. They're trying to kill him off, but it's gonna be enough. Santorin, the last one alive to win the game. Nicely done. Game one to energy. Plains while we had the Ezreal in the first place. If Echo Fox says, oh, energy loves playing Victor, they're going to go for it again, probably right here. There's a play on the Surprise. frog, and everybody's around. And look at that. Surprise, but Kiwi Kid, you know where he's coming from. Yeah, frogging on the wrong side of the map. so screwed. He is completely screwed right now. The ghost coming in just to make sure this shouldn't be even difficult now for Quas. The question is how many assist triggers come off, because if Froggen makes him get a solo kill, that is gold denied from the rest of the team, and looks like that will be the case. He's life-stealing with the Warlord's Bloodlust. The first blood does go unassisted, so Froggen... KFO. And this is a bad spot to be a Swain. He's doing some damage to Quas, but not quite enough. The kill comes through. Energy yeah. one actually a little near, near the Gromp on the left-hand side of the map. But now yeah. KFO knocked onto the other side of the map yet again. Santorin is here, and Quas! Three kills? Never fear. An assist for him. Scumbag GBM steals it away, but got support from Big as well. So it's a trade of blows. Actually, GBM stops the air, but look at the burst damage coming across. The exhaust saves his life. The knockout comes through for Hart, and yes, Froggen survives the encounter just barely. First, because you got the flash through on a yeah. D2 has nowhere to go. He's not going to get out, but a lot of damage on OQ. Somebody heal burned by him trying to run away and the kill off of Kiwi Kid. And this is a lost 2 on 2 that Energy wanted to have. Keith actually missing shot blocked by Minions and he's just gonna die. Quas leaps in to say, hey guys, I'm back. Oh. He was dead blind in that. Oh, well, Froggen is gonna be blind and dead now in this one. Quas on a rampage. He's got the Hex Trigger pop and does get killed off. So Keith gets a kill in return, a one for one. But now the repeat attempt for the Ocean Drake. Hard is around and he does have Smite. He has it, 2,000 HP left on that one. No explosive cast up for Santor, and his smite is up, though. And they're just taking damage from it now. This also slows. Yeah, well. go for attacks. 1,300, Ezolt across. Oh, it leashed back, but blue team picks it up. Four kills sounds amazing right now. Hard in a bad spot, does get away from the gravity well. Keeping it, oh, what a snipe by Keith, but Santorin actually can't get enough damage either, and the kite back from Echo Fox works beautifully. Energy in that fight, he could have gotten in there. Now he's gonna use it on the key. Attempt, and this time they catch Ezreal. That's what Santorin was waiting for. Easily, wow, yep, the preemptive Springlethorn still knocked back in by Santorin. 
picks off the plant queen, and Hart has to run away. Have nothing oh, for GB yet. They catch big, they knock it back on the team, he gets String of Thorns down. They've also already blown up Keith, make that a two for zero easily, because Santorin got in. And Void Staff can just increase your damage. Here we go, Santorin this time caught out, he pushes back Hart, and he just refuses to really go down, but finally does get exploded. A nice pickoff finally coming through. They're still gonna flank though. We're looking for the play, 5v4 early, Zodis by GBM, and Keith once again caught out, running from Quas, Ruin King as well, and Shrek, and they pick off the, the victor. And now it's time for Quas to run away, and he secures his escape right now. Frog and can't get him out. It's a two for one, still overall in favor of Echo 5. Fiber. This is the play, the first set of turrets went down at the same time, it's a Cards 5v4, the this is the play. No one is willing to recall. One of these teams will win, and Echo Fox are going quite a bit faster. It's Energy who flinch first, they lose the game of chicken, because when you're against Froggen, how could you not? He's the bird master, all said and done, but look at that, the fake recalls, just the oh, they're they're going them. back, it's Energy fakes him out, and they're going for the game win right now to close out the series. Now, can GBM stop the recalls? Turret one is gone. He did, he's done, though. Drop as well. GBM and Kiwi can lose their lives, but it stops the backs, and Energy make it a 2-0. Off of an incredible backdoor. My gank support is super good in the mid lane. If they ever get against anyone back either, so it could actually just be a straight up inhibitor trade. All right, well, we're gonna look for something because the mortars have now officially broken the bottom inhib turret. They're onto the inhib, but Cloud9 is starting to pick up pace here. In this little base race. You would think they set someone up. They're actually pinging <laughs> next, next turret. turret, baby. All right, well, the mortals they're gonna get the first inhib, but Cloud9 should be able to take this as they well. The mortals are done. On. Why not keep going? Shield right. on the minions. Two back now. Yeah. It, it's... It's nine minutes in. Yep. They're not going to get this, I don't think. Uh. Oh my God. It looks like they might. Buddy really Boo No, he's not going to get that. It's getting close. Minion's still there. They have to protect it. Cloud9 do take the inhib, and Sneaky and Impact still pushing. C9 going to kick them out of their base. Green Ignite down as well. Impact lives this time, but Meteos back in. Brain never going to get stunned up. He'll get hooked away, and first blood goes to Meteos. Ooh, and it's going to continue. Here comes Hootie. That's Hootie with the equalizer going to ride in. Look for that big Proto about Pogo. They're getting locked up. Proto about straight into the back. And Sneaky's going to be forced to flash out. Impact running for his life as Cloud9 have oh, three low people on the front up. line. But that's a great exit there from Bunny Foo Foo. That's why you give Bunny Thresh. He knows the angles. Impact and Meteos still have a little ways to run. Yeah. Take a TP in. That's Jensen going to try and collapse, but it's actually oh. now Poe Bastro and Hooney. Can't turn it around. Hooney doing too much damage, and now Impact may be caught out of a position. He's going to die to Poe Bastro. Meteos going to get caught as well. They tried to back. He gets over the line. Well, and Bunny Foo Foo saves him again. Always oh, Adrian! Adrian! He wants it, but he's going to get played out. Plants, not enough. And we're okay, just a two for one, I think. It's gonna find Meteos, tags him up, but there's the Lantern again. Zara ulti burn, but it's not enough, Meteos! Oh, he has to flush out of the way, but now the Gene ulti opens up. Pogart's around the side, as Hootie comes in as well. Sneaky gonna go down, Pogart will claim that kill. As Jensen almost gonna get sniped, he's forced to flush out. Wow, everyone on Immortals piled in there, double- Looking for opportunities, Gene ulti, they're gonna poke him out. Sneaky, forced to burn the spell shield and the ultimate already. Last few bullets gonna get tanked by Impact. Meteos on the side trying to do some work with Impact. Again, taking up too much damage. Hooney goes golden in the front lines, but Adrian's been picked out. Zornis is as well. He's already finished one. Hooney, though, is gonna go down. And Cloud9 starting to fire back. Cobelta eats a stun, but the Zara ult is massive on the front lines. And Cloud9, they just can't complete the rest of his kills. But Jensen, he wants in. He wants in. Can he make it? Meteos back in again, but Rainover takes him out. Jensen up to the side, but goes a little too far forward. Buddy trying to make a hero play, but it's gonna cost him his life. And Jensen's too far to the left. Yeah. Sneaky under his turret, cannot escape. I mean, that was not a good start to the fight from Immortals, but they have the lead and they're willing to push oh. the tempo! Spear! Doesn't go for it. Jensen Jensen's actually back. Rain never hops away. Might oh. die here. Shield's good there from Keep Karma. Hop away! Got too much healing. Adrian gonna threaten and Immortals low, but they're gonna keep going. Jensen flashes in. A death Oh my play, god! But he's got stayed up. Adrian's gonna take him down. They're still going, it's just sneaky. They're actually trying to take the last Nexus turret! Teleporting on Jin Trap! Almost enough. This Hooney, the most aggressive of plays. Proto Belt's in, Bunny back in. These death timers aren't that long. This is just mind bogglingly risky from Immortals, but this is how they can play sometimes. They're feeling so comfortable, but they are right on the edge of getting full wipe. Oh, it happened again. Happened again. Adrian! Now gonna die, maybe! Yes, does fall down. Ran over the next target. Meteos gonna bop him back in, but that's not enough for the kill. Meteos actually collects the double and might look to escape with his life. Who needs though getting chased down by impact while Turtle takes out Sneaky on the back end. And the next is still exposed. Uh, this isn't enough.
Turtle, get him! But he's gonna shoot him down. Oh, so get shot down. Hoonie's still alive, by the way. And now hitting the Nexus. I think Immortals have won the game. Chains are gonna try and stop them, but Hooney sits a little too far ahead, pops the shield. Radiant's gonna cancel it down. They are gonna get him, but Pobots are looking at the Oh my goodness. And it does end. Oh, baby. But Jensen, I think he wants a... Uh, he needs a boost, I will say. Like, if he's been struggling mm -hmm. a bit in these last few games, he's... To find Adrian or Turtle, oh! they can kill him. Flash is straight in for him, but Turtle gonna flash out of the way. Sneaky gonna flash in, they tag him with the Winter's Bite. He's gonna get stunned up here, they're gonna try and take him down, but the TP's in for a model. Hey, he's gonna arrive, looks to chase down Sneaky. Play turtles in and gets first blood. That turns so pear shape for Cloud9. And it's so key here, actually. We didn't get to see it on screen, but the fact that Impact had early teleported made that gank a really bad idea for Cloud9 because it was matched by Huni. Now Rainover is looking for more. He's actually maybe gonna get something else here. Does get tagged up, but he's chasing. Snare lands in, does get Smoothie. Huni flashes forward, he wants blood. He'll take out Meteor. Smoothie's gonna die as well. I said I wanted three games, Pastry. Not looking very likely right now. <laughs> Gonna reduce some of that damage, but Rainover's here as well. This is a long way home, yeah. Impact. Spear, oh, it does flash it. But now and you have right. no flash. Yep, Twisted Advance on, Meteos is here, can it turn around? The answer is no. Rainover gets the kill. In that lane. Did Rainover flash? He did, but actually might nail Impact. Get Silence down, gonna get snared up as well. A very creative tower to have an Impact. He's got his ulti ready, but he's not that strong. And Rainover's gonna get him again. All right, they're looking for it. Huni goes back in. Pobots are straight for it. Look for Sneaky. Always plays on Smoothie and will get him, actually. Because the exhaust cannot keep him alive. Meteor's getting chased down. That ulti hurts. Huni's going to keep trying to chase. The teleport should stop again? them. Huni! Oh, oh that's no! going! This takes out Sneaky! Oh, no! And then the teleport was cancelled after the kill, so Meteor's oh, dead, too. Now they're hung out to drive. Pobots are going to look for it. Huni wants it. He's going to get the double. Jungle away, hello. He Space might just Meteos. try and kill him. Uh, no, goes off to the Scottle Crab, pops the ulti. Meteos flashes in. Pobots is here now. Meteos gonna get himself blown up, snared away by the Jin, and he's dead. A uh, wild turtle snipes him on the other end, and now Smoothie blown to pieces as well. Yeah, Cloud9 is not the type of team who like to lose slow, so they're still gonna continue to try and make plays, but you're really seeing the massive power discrepancy between the oh. two teams, and it's only gonna get worse. Oh, it hurts, it hurts a lot! Multi from Jensen, not enough total. Gonna get the other kills. Huni dives in for Sneaky and takes it out. Impact under his own turret will be the last one left alive, and that's a days for Immortals. Wow, and the thing is now... Might have been their MO yeah. for what game Bye, and a half. Meteos. Meteos tagged, that looks bad, it is! Rainover takes him out, Smoothie almost dies with the door up. Eats the last bullet there, oh my god! 17 to 0, continuing the push. And again, only the perfect Drakes they needed for this comp. Didn't really need too much help, but they got it. And Wardle's gonna knock down this mid and hit Cloud9. Too far behind to defend. Ah, Huni! Or doesn't get it. Jensen trying to zone them away. This could be Cloud9. Go, you know, the Pobelta exhaust is down. The boy up. Impact actually taking good damage, but Huni finally makes his way around. Immortals, though, scattered to the wind. Huni diving in. Goes straight for them. He's going to get CC'd up. Impact still taking his turtle. Blows up Sneaky, flashing forward for a bullet. But Immortals, actually, this one goes a little awry. It's a triple kill for Jensen. And now Turtle oh may be down as well. Quadrant going to go down, but he got picked up. He actually got it. Going for it again. Oh, no, not going to get it. But he'll get the Quadra. Essentially a pentakill though, and Impact lose. gets one kill. And he got split off from the rest of his team. Not good news, Meteor's gonna get chunked out, caught again. That's the one thing that couldn't happen, and it does. They're gonna try to turn around, but Hootie going crazy. Still got a GA turtle, flashes in, but Jensen, oh, he gets killed on the other end by Turtle. Hobart is now gonna chase down Sneaky and Immortal. Four straight kills, Look, they're not even gonna bother with Impact. Yeah. A dominating series, 2-0 versus Cloud9. Yeah, and a... Unfortunately, anticlimactic end, as it seemed like Cloud9 had caught the miracle fight and may have been able to stall out, but ultimately, it just delays the game about seven minutes. Because yeah. globals upon globals upon globals here for Phoenix One. Yeah, and if Apex give them any time. Here comes the arrow, level five Alistar. Yeah, he's caught by the full CC and chained Goodbye. down. Goodbye. Little, but Inori's nice and tanky. It's worn off that now. One. Expecial still in the front is taking a lot of damage. Flash, knock up stand. United, Expecial caught by the gold card despite the heal. Finally goes down as Phoenix One turn it around. Oh. Here, but it's not enough. Gate is tossing his shield the wrong way. Ray drops the pillar to disrupt Phoenix One. They're subjugate Zig, eating a lot of damage. They manage to get one. Spear finds Zig through the crowd, and Nori is going to be caught by a snare. Chased by Shrimp, gets the kill onto Zig as Pyrian is chased Ooh. down by Apex. That's a quick three kill. And Apex clean up. After Shrimp all alone. All right, so he is going to be able to secure it, but Inori tries to turn on the arrow, is dodged. There's a stand United. Zig in the corner, though, doesn't quite want to chase. Oh, denied, period. 
gets knocked away. There goes the flash. They are chasing this kill. Once again, the bait is turned into another kill for Apex. Yep. Again. Oh, Too no. Too much this bait. Here lands. He's going to drop the knockup, but he's not able to keep himself alive. Another kill. Ages. Arrow manages to catch Shrimp, though. He's taking a lot of damage. The subjugate on Andori means that he's nice and squishy and goes down to Apollo as Gate, this is the third time in a row, goes down to Apex. Gate has been spending a lot of time in the fountain. Forex special. He's locked on and he's found Gate once again. There's no escaping this time. The Ignite's burning. In fact, he will escape, and it's <laughs> going to be Expecial going down. There's the destiny from Pyrian as he splits Apollo from the team and chases him down. But looks like Phoenix One are going to chase. They're trying to collapse and set up a pincer. And Nori cannot knock anyone up. Expecial zoning him on the side as Raven Expecial, the tanks in the front, are doing so much work while Apollo and Trip <laughs> open the back. Keen chases it out. That's the first kill for Apollo. He's caught with no cleanse. Pyrian turns it around, but the rest of Apex are rushing forward. Sure, you've cleaned up the back line, but what about the front line? Well, Two the kills. inhibitors are going to be the prize here. Expecial, run for your life! Uh oh. And Nori's on the hunt. Oh no! Now he's got to go through the minions. Path him through the minions. It'll interrupt his pathing. Oh no! Oh, it takes another hit before he makes it to the turret. Get. Oh, and it's special with the engage catches Pyrian. He's down, and Ori's in the back line, but Shrimp is able to sustain enough. He's caught by the taunt. Zanyas keeps him standing, and they're able to turn this around as Apex just have got so much damage. Shrimp kites it back and forth as Mash flashes the stun. He's trying to get back in. They're able to drop it. Gate is going to die again. Another kill for Apex. 15 to 8. And they're going to push on to the Nexus turrets. And Ori doing his best Meteos impression races on to the map as Apex takes the win 34 minutes and 30 seconds in. One wants to get their ribbon snowballing. The other one obviously wants to stop that. Exactly. Get forward. Yeah, all right. Let's see if we can get our first blood. Flash. He's caught by the snare, though. He's able to drop some damage. Exhaust keeps him slowed. He's going to try to turn it back around. A little late the, for that. Yeah. Coming in also, Zig is going to cut him off. Ray is going to have a difficult time getting oh, out of here. Turns it around too late once again. Out get on the map for a lot longer. Whoa. Time. There, there they go. Into the back. He bursts on the follow. Oh, and he finally goes down. Expecial has had such low health. He gets the knockup, but they're going to be able to turn a kill around, though. And Ori did go down, Ray. Still chasing it out in the front. Tether means he can't quite get too far. Keen chases forward for some damage. But that ends up being a one for one, one for two trade favoring Phoenix. Actually, a pretty good initiation there from Phoenix One. Right. Oh, there they go. And Ori comes in along with Piri and Keen in the front. Takes the brunt of the damage and goes down. He's still got that Chaos Storm doing some remnant AoE, Ray. Looking for the chase. He's going to have to settle for Zig. As the rest of Phoenix One back away. One Try and start something up, actually. Apex gonna counter. Yeah, Keen goes in. Gate gets destroyed by Apex. Ray teleporting in Mash. behind. He's gonna try to hunt him down. Yomus gives him speed, but coming to the face says no. Oh, what are the chances hey, that they actually go for Baron here? I mean, they have been able to clean. Oh, no. Chances are low. Apollo's yeah. gonna get soloed. Oh, yeah. Ends up getting caught out by a Nori. Who there died. it is. But misses. Gets two teleports for his trouble and gets back out. Oh, oh, oh does they're he? all trying to collapse. Flashes the wall. Shrimp in the front. Keen is doing a lot of damage despite Shrimp going down. It's one for one so far. Ray goes back in, cleanses himself. He's healing up a lot, but Mash with a double kill. Expecial trying to tank as best he can. Keen still doing so much damage along with Apollo. They're going to catch Gate and Pyrian. Double kill. Clean up by Apex. Oh, decides not to go into the pit. He's going to be coming in from the far side. But Pyrian drops a slow, and they're trying to fight it out. Keen in the back trying to do some damage to Inori while the rest of Phoenix are left in the river. Exhaust on the match, but Pyrian gets a huge snare. Doesn't oh. have anyone to back him up, though, and he goes down. The rest of Apex provide Chase Zig caught by the slow. Can they get out? Inori might be cornered here. They're going to chase him down. The rest of the guys scrambling. Mash gets a kill on the three. Ooh, Ray is going to drop, but Keen, whoa, also gets split down. Phoenix are picking up the kills onto a divided apex. Oh, they still have Inori waiting around as well, trying to cut him off, but he doesn't have any health. Teleport comes in. Yeah, they're going to try to catch up. Oh, let's see if Zig can quite chase him down. Too Not. elusive, but they will be able to push up mid. Uh -oh. Ray is looking to chase. He's got no, mo nothing more to save him. 
There's Stan United and Uri over the wall along with Piri and Keen. Gets blown up. Ray in the back though is doing some big damage. There's no exhaust, but he gets finally dropped. Apollo forced to hop away from a Piri and Fast Fingers keeps him alive, but the taunt and Phoenix One are going to ace Apex if they manage to catch up to Expecto. Soon, soon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, misses the taunt, but still gets into an auto attack range. That's an ace for Phoenix One. <laughs> are taking us to game three. The victory calling from MASH. 39 minutes in, Phoenix One managed to bring down Apex. That's Phoenix One round out there, cop. Adds a little bit of Wombo, too, because Narc is mid lane. Flash ultimate, <laughs> but Keen turns around. They're still diving. First blood on the period. The Jin ult and the Thresher wow. as well. That really well They're played. diving onto the inhibitor right now. Gate getting a little bit too far forward. Trades his life for that of Ray. Mash resets aggro. They've still got a minion wave. Pyrian zones Keen away. Are they going to be able to break this inhibitor? Free 20 minutes. They do. Zig gets his ultimate. If he can keep this tier two alive, it's going to be huge. Not only keep the turn alive, he's stopping recalls, keeping pressure here, and it's allowing inhibitor. What time is it? It's the 16 hook. minutes into the game. An inhibitor for Phoenix One. Oh my god, he scoops his special back in. And it killed him. Kill. Phoenix One take the inhibitor and get a kill off of it. Zig is actually a monster. Uh oh. He, they still are trying though. Yeah, that subjugate used on Zig. Ray chases forward. Snare unfortunately misses. Trip is on top of Pyrian. He's forced to flash away. Pyrian's gonna do some major damage. Here if comes he can. Mash though. Oh, he's trying to get some burning down. They're all grouped up in the AoE. A special drops. Phoenix Water cleaning up the fight and Nori gets three kills. Four kills! They're gonna Phoenix do it! One. That's an ace! Phoenix One are winning the game eight to one. Phoenix right One now. are gonna They're even do on the it. middle inhibitor turn. There's no one to defend. Gate in the front is gonna soak a lot of damage. Drops the disengage. There goes Zig. He's gonna be exhausted, but Trip has died. He's got a Guardian Angel though. They're on the inhibitor itself. Zig buys so much time for his team. It's a one for one trade. Tank for tank, but that inhibitor is about to go down. Minion! Oh, it's finally going to drop. Three inhibitors for Can Phoenix they get One. Out? Bottom lane. Period's in front, though. He's forced to flash away. Gets a good stun onto Ray. Gate is able to block a few of these shots. But Zig gets a huge stun against the wall. Mash lines it up and picks up three kills. Phoenix One have done it. They have won their first series, bringing down 